With the Resident Evil 2 remake being as awesome as it is, I thought it would take some time out to play one of the more lesser known, underappreciated ports of the game. Today I'm going to play a little bit of Resident Evil 2 for the Tiger Electronics Gamecom. This game was released in late 1998 and it's the only handheld version of Resident Evil 2 that was made. There was a version that was being developed for the Game Boy Advance, but it didn't make it far into development. Capcom had pretty much lost interest in porting Resident Evil games over to handhelds at that point. And here is the legendary Gamecom. For those of you who don't know, when Tiger Electronics decided to take a break from making Gigapets and shitty LCD games, they entered the legit console race with this monstrosity. It's known for its ear-splitting audio and its ridiculously bad screen that is actually worse than the original Game Boy screen. It's also the first console to have internet connectivity as well as a touchscreen, but that wasn't enough to save this shit show of a console. I really wanted to play this game on the original hardware for you guys, but as you guys can see, I was having a hard time getting the screen to actually come up on camera, let alone focus on the screen while playing the game. So I did a little bit of digging and I found out that there is actually a Gamecom emulator. Why the hell there is a Gamecom emulator? I haven't the slightest idea, but it exists. So I'm going to go ahead and play this game through the emulator. We start out on the streets of Raccoon City. The game spawns you right next to a zombie, so it doesn't really give you much of a chance to get used to the controls or anything like that. It throws you right into the action. And speaking of controls, this game uses tank controls. And I wish I could tell you that that was just the emulator running choppy, but the actual game literally runs like this. Moving over to the next frame, we find another zombie. I stand here and wait for him to wobble his ass on over to me. So I could cap him a couple of times. I then figured out the run button. And I make my way down this alley. We approach the iconic Kendo gun shop. Once inside, there's no sign of Kendo. But there is a shotgun on the floor. So I make my way over to it, pick it up, add it to my inventory. I then figure out what button accesses the inventory, and I mess around with it for a little bit. Over on the next frame, another zombie. There's a box of ammo over on the floor as well, so I make my way over to that and pick it up. Two more zombies appear. And they're both police officers. Come to think about it, every single zombie that I've encountered up to this point has been a police officer. It's like there's no civilians in this city, just a dense population of police. I move to the next frame and find another box of ammo. I walk over to the van to see if maybe you can access any items that are in the van, but no, the game doesn't seem to operate this way. Make my way to this gate. The controls are really tanked, making it very difficult to move. So once on the basketball court, surprise, surprise, yet another police officer zombie.
wait for him to get in position, and I unload on his ass. But he manages to grab me and gives me a hickey is what it appears like. Cap him two more times, and he's down. Moving my way to the next frame, the game throws a curveball at me and decides to be a dick and places me exactly within the proximity of another police officer zombie. After having gnawed on me, I am visibly injured. I drop the second zombie and then check my status to reveal that I am in fact in caution. Once in caution, I then realize I can no longer use the run button. I'm stuck moving at this painstakingly slow pace. Once through this door, I navigate through this alley, and I encounter yet another feral ghoul. I pause for a moment and then have to give him the old double tap to make sure that he's down for good. Once upstairs, I come to the realization that Leon moves a lot faster vertically than he does horizontally. And oh my goodness, another zombie. <sighs> this is going to be a long journey moving at this pace. I mean, look at him. Shit. I decided to skip over five minutes of painfully slow navigation, and I have made my way to the Raccoon City Police Department. Two more zombies are waiting for me at the entrance, so I put those two zombies down. I love how they just line up for you. And this one's not dead, I have to double tap his ass. Once inside the Raccoon City Police Department, I'm actually pretty impressed on how it looks very similar to the council version. I pick up a key and make my way over to the first door. Opening the door. Oh no! Two more zombies! Now these are a little bit more strategic and they navigate around me. One of them seems to grab me. Grabs me once again. Jizz is on the screen. And that's game over. Those of you that stuck with me through that whole painful ordeal, thank you. I appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. And don't play this game. Please, guys, do not play this game. This is a shitty, shitty port of Resident Evil 2. Let's all be thankful that we have the remake 
and put this dark chapter in the franchise's history behind us. Till next time, this is Ness, signing out.